Okay, so today we're going to learn how to save our picture, our storyboard of that, and put it on our web page. So you've just spent a couple hours making a perfect, beautiful storyboard of that cartoon show that looks a lot better than mine does because I spent about one minute. So it's complete. You think it's complete? It's got everything you need to make a perfect grade. So you're going to save and exit. Once you do that, your storyboard that is going to pop up much like this right here. And what you want to do at this point is you're going to take a screenshot and you do that by clicking the print screen button, oftentimes right beside the delete. As I'm clicking now, you can't see it, just trust me, print screen. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Paint, Microsoft Paint. It'll be under Access All Programs, Accessories. Paint. Okay, it's going to pop up. We're going to click paste, and there's a screenshot we just took. Um, it's a little large there, so we're going to shrink it down a little bit so we can see everything on the screen better. Uh, we're going to zoom out. There we go. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to crop that. Crop. We want the whole thing, including the title we gave it. I called mine three scenes. There we go. Got it boxed in. Now click crop. There we go. There's our cartoon strip. Let us save it now. Save as a JPEG. We'll put it on the desktop so it's easy to find. We'll call it storyboard that. and save okay we've now saved our storyboard that let's make sure it's there and there it is right there very good okay we shall now go back to our Google Drive everything that we create we put on our Google Drive so we can easily have access to it so let's click the upload button files desktop find our storyboard that up oh, there's our storyboard that click it and click open <clears throat> there we go 100% done get that out of the way it should be at towards the bottom because it's not back order there we go there's our storyboard that JPEG all right we have to do one more thing to that that picture we just uploaded so let's click on it and there it is we need to share it with the world so everybody can see it on our web page so we click the share button we're going to click advanced private we don't want that we want everybody to see it on the web save <clears throat> done all right that picture is now ready to go on our web page so we need to get to our web page appear on apps google sites Click the one that is yours. You'll probably only have one on your list. Wait for it to come up. Before you try anything on Google, before you click on anything, wait for your little wheel to stop spinning. It's just a reminder. Okay, here we go. We uh, we have a Toondo page. So that was for the Toondo tutorial I did. But now we're going to do a fake book page. Not a fake book. Not a fake book. A storyboard that. So let's add a new page by clicking create page. <clears throat> when it's, it's completely done opening that new page, we'll be in the edit. You'll see that in a second. Storyboard that. We want it under the home page. Create. And as you'll see, when it's completely done creating this page, it's going to be in the edit mode. There we go. There's our new page. Storyboard that. 
Wheel's still turning, so give it a second. As we wait. Loading editor, and okay, it's ready to edit. We know we're going to put in our storyboard that. So we go to insert, we put it on the drive, there's drive, and it's an image. All my images are now loading. <clears throat> storyboard that should be down here, right there. Click and then select. As you can see, it's way too large for the screen. So we can come. Notice I clicked on the box, and that made this come up. We'll click small. Now that's too small. Let's click medium. Click large. Oh, there we go. That's better. And then we'll just click save. And our storyboard of that page is done. Got the Comic Con there. Now if you wanted to, you could link it to your your page um, by bringing it up and using the link that it gives it and you can take it from there by editing this link right here. All right. Thank you very much.